guys, Iggy MB5679, Iggy MB5679 here, welcome to the channel, thank you for coming, um, just got done doing a live stream guys, and I wanted to get this out immediately and as quick as possible to the masses, so people, um, are hip to this, okay, now, um, oh, let me get that float on top real quick, let me hit that float on top real quick so I don't move, Okay, now, uh, I just went over this on a live stream, guys, but as you know, on live streams, we go over a bunch of stuff, okay? So, uh, this wasn't a main focus or anything, so uh, I wanted to put its own separate video out before I went to sleep this evening. A um, couple things I want to point out real quick, guys, a lot of things going on in the world. Uh, Hong Kong is really stepping up. Uh, it looks like it might be in martial law over there, actually. I don't know if they declared it yet. But the military is definitely ramping up, and China's on the way up there. China and Russia both are blaming Hong Kong's protest and the protest in Moscow. They're both blaming the United States for instigating it and basically paying its way. Okay, they're trying to say that we're the reason that Hong Kong's violent protests are happening and Moscow's violent protests are happening. So, as you can kind of see the picture there Russia, China, Hong Kong blaming the U.S. Get what I'm saying? Uh, you know what? You guys should deal with your own shit. Don't put us involved in it. Now, as you guys may know or may not know, I'm big on chemtrails. If you don't know what a chemtrail is, a chemtrail is the thing in the sky that is left after a plane drives by. And there's a big thing that almost looks like steam or smoke. Okay? Well, those are chemicals. Barium, lithium, aluminum, nanoparticles, geoengineering. We're breathing it in. Um, if you don't know, go to your search engine and put in this, cloud seeding, okay? If you want to learn about it, feel free, because the truth is free and it's all on the internet. Cloud seeding, the dropping of crystals into clouds to cause rain, okay? As you can see, this is a real thing, okay? Saudi Arabia cloud seeding, uh, multiple United Nations cloud seeding. This is a business, guys, okay? And what they do is they pay for rain. Okay, uh, let's see if we can just get a little glimpse real quick. The Parinan Department of Agriculture, now my say, say, I'm Secretary Mani of the Philippines, and it will somehow cloud seeding uh, operation for self uh, Philippine agriculture. 76 success rate. Soil and water management of BSWM. Okay, NASA 76 percent. I get it to the different language. I didn't plan for this here. This is a quick upload. Okay. See this steam, steamish look, cloudy look in the sky? That creates rain, guys. This is a very real thing. And please, if you're not woke to it, please get woke to it, okay? This is real. Okay, they create storms, all right? It's not just about rain. It's about hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes. They can do all of it, okay? They can. What do ski resorts? Such it's weather warfare, okay? They make Cloud snow. They can make... That falls from the clouds. Okay, here you and go. Just like What do ski resorts, Sub-Saharan Africa, and the Beijing Weather Modification Office have in common? They all engage in something called cloud seeding, a controversial technique once mocked by scientists and meteorologists alike as belonging in the realm of pseudoscience, but now clawing its way back into the mainstream. Cloud seeding works by dispersing chemicals like silver iodide into the air, where they can act as nuclei for the formation of ice particles increasing the precipitation that falls from the clouds. And just like that one superhero from X-Men, who can only manipulate fire, cloud seeding only works on clouds that are already formed. It can't create them out of nothing. Now, at first glance, this seems pretty cool. Drought-stricken areas could reduce crop damage just by sending silver iodide rockets into the sky. But as it turns out, we can't always control all the variables. Earlier this year, an attempt by the Chinese government to increase rain using this technique ended up causing record-breaking snowfall instead, in addition to over 40 weather-related deaths. So when it comes down to it, weather modification goes into a long list of things we probably should Now, shouldn't. also, okay, now, because I'm not doing this for this particular video, I just want to read what they found in the rain, but also you could put this in. Okay, 
And I'm just showing you because you can learn this stuff yourself if you really want to. Operation Popeye was a highly classified weather modification program in Southeast Asia during 1967-72. The cloud seeding operation during the Vietnam War. Okay, you know how long ago that was? Vietnam War ran from March 20, 1967 until July 5th, 1972 in an attempt to extend the the monsoon season. Wait, how do you say it? The Huchimon Trail. Okay, so this is the monsoon season. Specifically go over areas of the Huchimon Trail. Now, real quick, what they did, okay, the operation was used to include rain and extend the East Asian monsoon season in support of U.S. government efforts related to the war in Southeast Asia. Now, if you want to read that, go ahead. Basically, all they did was they flooded the trills, okay? They made it rain. So when they made it rain, they flooded the Huchimon Trill. And by flooding that trill, they won the war. It's called weather warfare. War, weather modification, uh, weather modification warfare, however you want to say it. But when they flooded that trill, the Vietnamese could not travel back and forth anymore because the trill was flooded. You you know what I mean? So they ended up winning the war because they couldn't get supplies. They couldn't get ammunition. They lost the war. Okay? All you got to do is put an Operation Popeye. It's right there. It's a declassified file. Okay? Now, let's go back till today. Scientists find plastic in Colorado raindrops. Plastic is officially everywhere. United States Geological Survey researcher Gregory Weatherby was studying nitrogen pollution in Colorado and found plastic in 90% of water samples he collected across urban and mountainous sites identifying small fibers, beads, and shards. The conclusion of this study, it's raining plastic, quote unquote. Rainwater collected in urban areas had the most plastic. Now, what do we always say, guys? Get out of the city because the cities get the most chemtrails. They spray the most in cities. Around here, they make it rain. They flood. It just They just sprayed all crazy yesterday, and today it rained really bad. Um, Actually, I can prove that to you right now. Okay? I just showed this on the live stream. Now. Okay, guys. That was about. Okay. As you can see, it says Pittsburgh. Let me see if I sh let me see if you guys can see that right. Pittsburgh, Monday, eleven forty nine a.m. I'm gonna. Whoops. Shit. How the frick did that even happen? Cause, oh man, dude. Wait a minute. This is the first one. Right here. Okay, Monday, 9.17 a.m. All right. Here, now look at this. No one else in the world thinks this is funny. All right, this don't look funny to no one. See, all blue sky, and then boom. Those all are chemtrails. Is sun. See how they're blocking the sun? Look, Everything else everywhere. in the sky is blue. There's no clouds anywhere, so you're right in front but... Of the sun. They had it, they blocked the sun, okay? And like I said, you stop this, and you look. Monday, 9.17 a.m., and it rained all day today. Literally, it rained all day, and today was Tuesday. It is now Wednesday, but it was Tuesday. It's because it's 1 or 3 in the morning here. Now, and I am in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am in a city. And it goes to perfectly with our research. It adds up perfect with our research. Rainwater collected in urban areas had the most plastic. But the discovery of fibers in Loach Valley in Rocky Mountain National Park leads scientists in a study published by the USGS to warn of plastic and rainwater. It's not just an urban condition. 91% of plastic is not recycled. And it takes more than 400 years to degrade, meaning most plastic that was ever created still exists. Plastic fibers break off clothes when you wash them and are byproducts of many manufacturing processes. A microplastics researcher and sustainability coordinator at Penn State, behind, her name is Sherry Mason, told The Guardian, 
These minuscule pieces of plastic are present in the atmosphere, then incorporated into water droplets when it rains, effectively spreading plastic across our surface. Now that, I don't agree with. X that out. They're just trying to block the fact that they, they know they put chemtrails in the sky. They know it, okay? And they're getting caught up with it. The potential effects of plastic and rainwater on nature, animals, and human health are unknown. According to the USGS study, even if humans halted all plastic uses in production, it's unknown how long it would take for nature to return to its plastic-free state. I would guess centuries, says Stephen Cross, professor of the blah, blah, blah. Now, just came out today, okay, August 13, 2019. Now, one thing to remember also is that uh, God, what's their name? Forbes put out Harvard blocking the sun. Okay? Where's it at? Harvard scientists begin experiment to block the sun. What did I just show you? I just showed you the whole sky was blue except in front of the sun. They claim now since they got caught up that they're blocking the sun to protect us from global warming. It's a bold-faced bold lie. Look up HARP. H-A-R-P. H-A-A-R-P. You'll see that these people control the weather. Period. Point blank period. That's what it comes down to. They block the sun. We need the sun to live, guys. We need the sun to live. What do you mean you're blocking the sun? You know what I mean? Freaking phone sucks. But yeah, if you want to, go look that up. Harvard scientists begin experiment to block out sun. And one more thing to remember and pay attention to is on YouTube, they literally said they found plastic and water bottles, okay? Show it to you real quick. Come on, man. Plastic found in water bottles right here, as you can see. A new global study. Microplastics found in most bottled water tested in global studies. Okay, so they're finding water this is the largest investigation inside of its kind, our, as I mentioned, they're finding plastic inside our water bottles. Tell us what plastic in the air, so plastic in the rain, plastic in the water bottle. Asia, Come on, North man, America, something ain't adding America, up here. Europe, but and, fact and of the matter is, is this water. right here, okay? They're admitting it. Scientists find, this is because of geoengineering. Okay, they're not blocking the sun to protect us. They're blocking the sun for ill ill reasons, okay? Thanks for stopping through. I appreciate your time. Iggy MB5679 checking out, baby. Love you.